Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we are going to take a look at the new Jumper T Lite. This thing has voice and vibrations in it. I'm powering on. Listen. Welcome to Open yeah, it speaks to you. And uh, let me just clear the screen. There we go. Clear, clear. So, so when you see me fly drones, you always hear me flicking switches like this. Our motors. Or you hear this. That's what the radio says because a lot of times when you're out flying you want audio inputs because you have goggles on. So this has it in this tiny little radio. It's very small. The great thing is is that this radio is almost 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 fully featured as this much larger radio here. Let me just touch the screen so it goes brighter. This here is a full featured radio multi protocol. This is not full featured, but it's not far from it, and it is multi protocol. So, what does that mean, multi protocol? That means if I have a drone and it's got an FR Sky receiver in it, I can connect this radio to it. If it has a DSMX Spectrum receiver in it, I can connect this radio to it. It's got a Fly Sky or a Futaba, I can connect this radio to it. Now, the screen on here is designed for people with Good eyesight. I find it very, very small. Like I had to, when I set up this radio and everything, oh, it's clear. But uh, for an old guy like me, it's like squinting, like what the heck? So if you're somebody who is old like me and your eyesight's probably not that great for things close up, you might want something with a uh, larger screen like this one here. What is impressive with this is that these joysticks, a lot of times when people buy controllers, they always look at the joysticks and they go, what kind of joysticks are those? Because when you're flying an FPV drone, I got a little one here, the slightest movements on the joystick will cause your little FPV drone to move in any direction because FPV drones fly amazingly fast, not like camera drones. You might think those fly fast, but they're pretty slow compared to FPV. So FPV, the slightest movement on your joysticks gives you the big reaction on the drone. So you want very sensitive gimbals on the joystick, joystick gimbals, and these have Hall Effect gimbals, which is pretty impressive because at one time, if you wanted a radio with Hall Effect, you know, type gimbals, you were paying like two or $300 or $500 US. But here this thing is 60 bucks and it's got Hall Effect gimbals. And what I really like about this is in the back here, I don't know if I can get this cover off if I'm flicking it around to show you, uh, you just put one 18650 battery in it. And not only that, on the top you have a USB-C port, in port, and if you plug a USB-C cable into that, you can actually charge up the battery. So this acts as a charger too for the battery. So you never take the battery out after you put it in. Also, for a lot of you out there who keep asking this, yes, this one here allows you to play Sims. So if you want to learn how to fly FPV, this is a great one to have for the price. Just plug your USB-C at the top and then plug it into your computer. It's going to ask you on this tiny little screen, do you want to use me like a joystick? And when you say yes, you can fly a Sim. As you see here, I'm flying a Sim with this thing. It's very simple to do. It's... Um, it's actually pretty good because with the joysticks being super sensitive, you can fly sims and really practice your skills so that when you get out with a real FPV drone, you should have no problem out there in the real world. Also on here on the top, I don't know how they squished all this in, there's a spot for a micro SD card. Now you're thinking like, okay, a micro SD card, what's that for? Well, basically, it's to make this thing smarter, as I say, because when I received mine, it didn't have sounds or anything. So all I did is I took the sounds out of here and I stuck them in here. So basically I just, there's a micro SD card in here. I just copied the file called sounds, English sounds off of this. And I stuck them on a micro SD card, put that in here and I have all the sounds in this baby. This here little radio T light, this little jumper T light supports Crossfire Nano. So Crossfire Nano is going to allow you to fly a little drone. If you put a Crossfire receiver on it, it's going to allow you to fly it like miles and miles away because Crossfire is a system that is a transmission system, communication system that is designed for long range. So if you buy any long range drone on the market that's out there today in FPV world, you could use this with your little Crossfire Nano that you stick on the back and you could fly long range. Now, if you use this without a Crossfire and you just fly it normally, like most people do, uh, using any receiver on the market, you're gonna get probably about a mile range with this thing just out of the box. Just normal, no Crossfire, nothing. A mile would probably be your normal range with this. Now, on the very top, you probably can't see it here. Let me bring it closer. Right here, there's a little hole and there's another one over there. So take notice of these two little holes. Those 
two holes at the top are for an external FPV monitor. Now when I received this radio, I really wanted to try it out because when Jumper sent it to me, they said, Steve, you're going to love this radio more than any other little radio you've ever tried because of our hall, you know, our hall gimbals on here. They're super sensitive. So I said, okay, I'll try it out. So what I did is I took a drone. This little drone here is a 6S drone from HGLRC. I've done a review on it. This is the Petrel drone. It flies wickedly fast, wickedly fast. So I said, you cannot fly this here drone unless you have a very good radio because the slightest movement on here is gonna send this rocketing in whichever direction. So I took it out to the field and tried it. And here's my results, check it out. Welcome to OpenTX. I love that the voice works just like a normal radio. It's got all the, <laughs> and it even warns me. Yes, I know the switches are up. See, that's really good. There we go. So life is good. Oh, and I even have a little red light, which is telling me something. So I have to hit a button here, which would probably be this one. Our motors are Works like a charm. Green light now. So I'm going to record my entire flight in my fat shark goggles. The image quality is not going to be great because these are fat sharks and they're only designed for recording video so you can find your drone if you lose it. But uh, it'll give you a good sense when I'm flying and talking with this here tea light and telling you how everything's responding. So here we go. All right, the Petrel is right there and we are all set to fly. If you're looking at the fat shark image right now, you can see what the camera sees. The Petrel looking at me, I'm right here. Now, the last thing I want is this Petrel to whack me in the back of the head. I'm gonna sit down. You can see how close my head is to the back of the, <laughs> the drone. All right, so when it goes, it's gonna fly over my head. Let's put an acro mode. I've got my gloves on flying this too, which is unfortunate, but. Angle mode, acro mode. There we go. And uh, well, where is everything? Here we go. Arm. Arm motors. Straight up. Yeah. Woohoo! I felt that breeze over my head. Wow, this quad is fast. Let's spin it this way. So, with these little tiny joysticks, let me tell you, it feels really good. There I am. This thing's fast. And you really need agile and really good control to fly this baby. And you can see here, I've got exactly that. Let's take it down the street here. Let this thing go. And let's bring it on back. Let's come back to my Jeep this way. I'll go a little slower so that the camera can catch what it looks like. And there I am right there. Well, you know, I'm having so much fun out here. I keep forgetting to tell you how good these joysticks are. Over here, this is a stretch of water that is frozen. Somebody's walked on it already, as you can see. With these joysticks, no issue whatsoever. Let me see if I can get it going really slow. Here we go. We're going to slow this way down, way down. Let's bring it way down, way down low here and slow. Okay, we're slowing down and there we go. I got it to stand still. So once again, even to do this with a joystick, you need really good quality um, yeah, you need good quality gimbals to be able to control because I'm doing minute movements to just keep it right here with the wind blowing. And yes, there is wind. That's why that fan is going nuts. Let's see if I can go close to this fan without killing the quad. There we are. Pretty sweet. All right, that sun is making some weird, weird images in my goggles. I'm sure you see that in the recorded video. But overall, Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I have uh, nothing but good things to say then about these, uh, this little tea light controller. It does exactly as it's supposed to do. Let's go this way. We'll come back this way. It, uh, the little joysticks on here work like a charm. All right, let's bring it on down. You see if I can do buzz around my Jeep even faster here. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's right. You need good joysticks for this because I am just doing these really tiny, tight movements. Let's see. Very nice. Really, really good. All right, let's bring it on down. I'll keep it going nice and slow here. We'll bring it down to my feet. Just little legs and coming down in front of my feet. Right over here. Boink! I've got nothing but good things to say about the tea light. It's very small. Fits in the hands, I never noticed anything. I adapted to it. This is the first time I used it in flight. Adapted to it, no problem. I wasn't like trying to find where things were or how to do certain things. Everything just made perfect sense. So yeah, I think it's pretty darn decent. So yes, after that test, I would use this radio. If I was ever going out flying and I was bringing a small little FPV drone, 
little controller and just my fat shark goggles you know you could fit it all in a very tiny bag it would be awesome with something like this so now let me jump to the unboxing this is the box it comes in let me show you everything that came in this box check it out this is an unboxing so here's the box this is what's inside the box these are stickers and yes they come inside the box and this is an instruction manual and yes it comes inside the box and this is a storage box for the 18650 battery that you have to buy yourself this usb type c cable is included in the box and you use it to charge up the radio or connect it to a pc to play a sim a very small transmission antenna is included you could change it to something better if you wished if you buy a Crossfire Nano for your radio, you will require this attachment and it is included in the box. The last item in the box is, of course, your Jumper T light. The Jumper T light comes complete with two-way switches and three-way switches as well as trim control buttons. The joysticks have removable tops should you wish to replace them. Attach the included antenna and install an 18650 battery and you're off to the races. The weight of the tea light with the antenna and an 18650 battery is 252 grams. So what I'm going to do next is put links below this video. Check down below the video here and you'll see links to where you can buy this radio. Now I don't know if it's available today as of the launch of this video when I'm showing this. But either case you could probably pre-order it. I would order it quickly if you were even thinking of getting one because these little things will sell out fast due to the price. So yeah, check the links. The more locations it becomes available, the more I'll add links below this video to where you can find it. But for now, I say if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in future videos with many more drone reviews. Bye.